Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with me. Thank you for vibing with me. Yeah, we're going to talk about Joel Embiid and all these rumors, him going to certain teams, and we're just going, I'm going to just give you my little opinion on it. First of all, I'm going to say this right now. All you Nick fans, all you Nick fans is coming up with all this rumors about Joel Embiid going to the Knicks, all these Knicks content creators on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, and it's getting out of hand, my brother. First of all, he ain't going to the Knicks. You know what I mean? You can dream. I understand Joel Embiid's the MVP and you want the MVP on your team, but guess what? It's not happening. But if it happened, if it, if it did happen, right, and Joel Embiid, only way it, were, it would actually happen is if he says he doesn't want to be a sixer no more. And there's a possibility. There's always a possibility for, for it, but I don't think he's going to do that. I, j- I just don't. We're going to bring in a new coach that's going to be able to get us a champ. That's going to be, be able to coach us to a championship because we got the talent. For the most part, we got Joel Embiid. That's the talent. We got Tyrese Maxey. We'll get rid of Tobias Harris, and we'll go get us Dame Lillard somehow into some type of three-team trade or whatever. We're going to get Dame. We're going to either get Dame. We're going to get somebody you least suspect it to team up with Joel Embiid, especially if it, especially if James Harden officially goes to the um, Houston Rockets. But, yeah, if he happened to go to the Knicks, because I, I just want to let you all know, Nine times out of ten, it's not going to happen. Nah, bruh. Nah. Hey, one more time. One more time. Nah, bruh. Nah. It's not happening. Nah, bruh. But if it happened to, Joel Embiid, hmm, the MVP, what can we get from the Knicks that I would actually want? So I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to start with the first round picks. We'll start with the first round picks before we go to the players, right? I want at least six to ten first round picks. Six is the very least. Six to ten first round picks starting in 2024 or 2025. One of those years. It's going to start from there. Six to ten first round picks. That's number one. Number two, I want some of your players too. I want your best young player, a couple of your young players. I'm going to go for your bull, R.J. Barrett. He's definitely going to be the player that's going to come back to the Sixers. We also, we don't want, we don't, you're not going to give up Jalen Brunson. Julius Randle. I guess. I'll take Julius Randle. I'm not really the biggest fan of Julius Randle. I'm just going to keep it all the way 100 with you. But I'll go for him. I'm going for... Man, I don't really, I'm not really the big fan of any of these players on your squad <laughs> besides Jalen Brunson. I like Derrick Rose, the old Derrick Rose and R.J. Barrett. I'm not really the big fan of your squad, man. Like, I don't really care for none of them. Is that mean to say? The Sixers are going to have to figure that portion out, but we're going to have to at least get six to ten first-round picks from y'all. And, um, and for all the other teams, like, it's the same – Six to ten first round picks. And then we're going to need like two to three players. Young players that has potential. So that's what it is when it comes to, Le- when it comes to Joel Embiid. Because he is the MVP of the NBA. And, we, and honestly, I hope we don't even look into any of that. Because I think we can win a championship. Can I get a chair for that? Can I get a chair for that? Yes, yes. I think we can get a championship with Joel Embiid. I just think we just need that alpha. We need someone with a with better leadership because he has all the talent in the world, but we all know he doesn't have the leadership. Um, he doesn't he doesn't have that mindset, that mental toughness when things get really, really hard, especially when he's injured. He kind of puts his head down, and he he's he's just not the most confident person. When things get hard, and it kind of sucks because it's like, dude, you have he has so much talent. The guy can do literally anything on the court. If he wanted to average eight to ten assists, he can definitely do that. He can definitely do that. Um, he can do pretty much anything. He's great on defense, great on offense. He plays like he'd be looking like Kobe Bryant sometimes, shooting these fadeaways and Dirk Nowitzki combination. 
and then the, the, the post up moves, the step back three. It's just so much that the man can do. There's nothing that he can't do offensively and defensively. I just wish he had the mental toughness. So that's why we need that leadership like Jimmy Butler or somebody in that caliber or a Leonard, if Leonard is hurt, or Dame. That's who I want. Dame. That's who I really want um, to play alongside Joel Embiid. I hate that we're even, honestly, it really kind of sucks to even talk about potential trade candidates. You know, it's, it's going to happen because it's our off season. It's going to be a very long off season, and there's a lot of questions because we really don't got no cap room, and we got a max player that's not even playing max. He's not even playing like a max player, Tobias Harris. It's just like there's a lot of mistakes that we have made, and it's kind of like slowing us down. No, it ain't kind of slowing us down. It is slowing us down because I like I like Tobias, but he's just not. And I can't blame a man. Like, I can't blame him from getting all the money he can get. I mean, I would get all the money I can get, too, if I was in this situation. But he's just not that. He's not on that level to be getting paid that much. And I'm not trying to count the brother's money, but I'm just keeping it all the way 100. I'm keeping it. You know what I mean? I'm keeping it real. And I'm going to talk my talk. I got to keep it real when it comes to this matter. But, yeah, the New York Knicks, man. Ah, man. All you fans, man. Y'all not getting Joel Embiid. And if y'all happen to get Joel Embiid, that's going to really suck. For me personally, because I Joel B is my favorite sixer since Allen Iverson. It kind of sucks because, like, we just need one or two pieces, and we're definitely contenders. And it's just, it, it, it's not that he can't win a championship. It's just, just bad luck, man. And we got James Harden playing the way he played in Game Seven and in Game Six, and that just. It just sucks that we're in this position because we could literally be in the Eastern Conference Finals right now playing against Jimmy Buckets. And I think we could beat the Miami Heat, but we just didn't get that far. But I'm not even going to get into that because that's not it's, – it's not – it didn't happen. But, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, Philadelphia fans, wh who on the Knicks would you even want? They're not giving up Jalen Brunson. I don't want really nobody on the team besides R.J. Barrett, to be honest with you. And just a whole bunch of first round picks, but we need more because all these other players, I'm just looking like, no, 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 because I don't, it, it doesn't excite me. Julius Randle does not excite me. So um, let me know in the comments below, Sixer fans. And all you Nick fans, all you Nick fans, I want to let y'all know to stop making that content because you're spreading this, you're spreading all this stuff out here in social media. Making it seem like we trying to get rid of Joel Embiid. Making it seem like Joel Embiid's not happy to be in Philly. Yes, he is happy to be in Philly. And he's going to stay in Philly. But I ain't going to talk you to death. Tell me what you think in the comments. Let's go six us. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you vibing with me. If you're a Philadelphia 76er fan, like and subscribe. Yes, yes, yes. Like and subscribe. And I'm out.